learn the correct interpretations of the words, especially in the correct context that they meant. If someone's telling you something that legally blah, 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 don't expect us to speak in English. Say, are you legally trained? No. Well, then why are you telling me shit you don't understand either? It's that simple. You wouldn't expect to go to China, start rambling off English and expect them to understand you. And that's all you're doing when you talk when they're talking legal shit to you. They must be speaking in Chinese. You don't understand it. You might think you do, but you don't. So stop it. Ask questions. As king, asking questions. Alright? Say, oh, sorry, it sounds like you're trying to derive some sort of authority over me. Can you explain yourself, please? And don't stop asking questions. Don't answer questions unless it's with a question. That's how this shit works. That is the key ingredient I have to stipulate to anybody that wants to understand how society works. It is ruled by two-dimensional pieces of paper and words upon them, and men and women acting upon the belief in those words and what they interpret those words to mean. If you don't know the correct interpretation of something, you need to go to the author's perspective for the correct interpretation. Peter Jackson didn't go to Dr. Seuss to find out about Lord of the Rings. He went to Tolkien because Tolkien was the author. If you want to know what a legislative rule means, you need to speak to somebody that can talk the language, i.e. be legally trained, and even then, they're playing for the other team because their first obligation is to the court, not to you. You need to speak to somebody who's legally trained or ask the motherfuckers that wrote it, i.e. the government, to please give a complete and meaningful explanation in English. Don't accept the fact that someone that says every person must blah, blah, blah. Must is a directional term. It doesn't mean you have to. It only means you may or may not. It's a, meant in a directional sense. It's not meant in an absolute sense in legislation. Anyway, shall, future tense. I shall look into that. Doesn't mean I am now, but I might do in the future. Person. Which fucking type? Body, corporate, unincorporated body, corporation, soul, natural person, legal person. There's five definitions legally. Which one are you? I mean, last I checked, I'm a fucking man. Pretty sure any of you pricks out there are either a man or a woman. I can guarantee it. Without a shadow of a doubt. Fact. All of you out there looking at this shit right now as either a man or a woman. Whether or not you choose to classify and lower your standing to be something as a citizen in the country as opposed to on earth or a uh, taxpayer or uh, an elector or a voter or a person, whichever type, or any of these things, they are all degrading your status from that as an equal. All men are equal, and I'm meaning women as well, not being biased. Everybody is equal. We all cut ourselves, we all bleed the same claret. It's that, it's that fucking simple. Doesn't matter what color your fucking skin is, we are all of mankind. And the sooner this nation against nation, state against state, country against country, the sooner this shit gets knocked on the fucking head, the better. I mean, you'll end up with something like exceptionalism, American exceptionalism, American exceptionally fucking stupid. You think you, I mean, I honestly, I have asked people in America on these hangouts just because some badass motherfucker, say a Saudi like Osama, goes and does something. You guys don't go over and bomb the UAE or the Saudi Arabia. That's where he was from. But no, don't go and fucking bomb the crap out. You just go and start fucking drone striking Pakistan and Afghanistan and Iran and Iraq. Go and invade all those fuckers because that's part of your plan. You know, don't go chasing the fucker. But you guys will use the pretense that one bad guy 
and spoil the bunch. Yes, we're going to go and kill millions of innocent people in those countries because we believe they are in those countries, so we have the right to, because one bad apple out of that country, who wasn't even part of that country, i.e. Osama, bombing Iraq, and yet he's a Saudi, and yet you guys just think, yep, no, that's Kabonk, we've got open season to go and do that. Why? Those people that all died, that you murdered indiscriminately, are not responsible for that one fucking psychopath's things, or, or his actions. But that's what you do. You believe in psychopaths. We've just had one ourselves crawl back under his fucking rock. John Key. The main motherfucker that caused the derivative crash back in the late 2000s, uh, back, uh, back in the 1990s, 2000. That fucker destroyed Ireland's economy. He's left us and says, oh, I know, I might go overseas for a travel for a while, but I might just go subterranean. What kind of fucker says he's going sub... You say you're going underground. You don't say you're going subterranean. What's he trying to say? We're an actual fact. He's fucking off to go and be the new head of the IMF. When Christine fucks off. It's all jacked up, bro. No problem at all. They'd better give them something for fucking around getting all those Pacific countries into the TPP just before Trump rips the fucking rug out from under them. Good job, Trumpy. Well fucking done. At least you're causing a stir in the hornet's nest. And that is well overdue. I might not agree with all of his shit, but he's certainly better than the bullshit you fuckers have been putting up with for hundreds of years. Noam Chomsky. I watched a 10-minute clip of him today about the US presidents, every single motherfucker from, since Eisenhower could be held indicted for war crimes underneath the universal, and uh, underneath the, G, sorry, Geneva Convention. Every single one of you motherfucking CEOs of the United States of America Corporation can be indicted. But doesn't matter. This is, this is the problem the key problem people have. There's the law, and then there's what's legal. Maybe against the law to abandon a, a minor on the side of the road. But fuck, if it's in a bus policy that they can, well, policy overrides what may be lawful because they've said it's legal. It might be unethical or immoral or unlawful to kill millions of people. Hitler had no problem making it legal to kill millions of people, didn't he? If that actually did happen, and I do have my doubts. Every single genocide has been done under the guise of colour of law or legality. Not law, colour of law. Written in a different language that you all believe gives everybody the right to treat it now they're like shit. Snap the fuck out of it. Do I have to say, end of, enough of my rant. It's been fun.